Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to share this with everybody. It's not nail related, but I am a licensed cosmetologist and I made some purchases off of Amazon, which is just something that I normally do. But um, I decided to, you know, what is the word? Get out of my comfort zone. buy something that was delivered. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Here it goes. Woo! I am so cool. I know. It's a practice hand. I never actually had, well, I did have one. I have three of them actually. I bought these from the, um, on that, um, whatever. I bought these. <laughs> from, you know, the nail supply stores. And they've been working really well for me. I use them for designs. They've been working really well for me. I really haven't had any any issues. Yet my daughter says to me um, that she wanted one. And I was like, dude, that would kind of creep me out. But then there's nail technicians, nail artists. I don't know what we call ourselves anymore, but that have that use this that use those hands and their work turns out really well and I saw um, oh my gosh I'm so sorry I can't remember her name I'm going to say this but I probably messed her name Tay Barbie I saw her do uh, lay some acrylic on those hands and I didn't know you could lay acrylic on those hands I thought that they were just with you know decoration and I was like, I'm not going to spend that kind of money on them little hands when I can get those from the nail supply store for $5. You know, when you don't have a lot of money, you do work with what you got. So, I have a mannequin. I have a mannequin. Um, I have a mannequin. But she has, uh, she's Caucasian, so her hair is straight. And I, I got her to use her to practice her blow drying. I'm sorry, I guess with my eye. For blow drying and um for blow drying and uh <laughs> hair manipulation styles, you know, for some braided hairstyles and that kind of thing. And I got the okay. So I needed a doll that I could color the hair. Um yeah, color the hair. And what better? And so I bought this from Amazon. That looks creepy. It looks wrong. Wow. Okay. So I bought this off of Amazon. And it's just thirty dollars. It says, you know, in the description that you could relax her hair and that kind of thing, but I don't see, I don't even see a package, but that's kind of, maybe it's on the, maybe it's on the outside of the box? Nope. No package slip, no directions, no nothing. She does have a nice hair net on, though. She has a nice hair net on. That's her hair net, taking that off. Taking that off. And so, oh, her hair is soft. So, this is my mannequin. Now the directions say that I can color her hair. Her hair is really soft. You can color her hair, straighten her hair, dye her hair, blah 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 blah. So this is her. Does she have a name? Nope, she has a number. That's her on the back side. Wow, this is really nice. So we'll see how she works. So this is the head. And it came with this. So for everybody out there, I just want to give a little disclaimer. I'm new at this. Look at that. Oh, that is so disgusting. But... I'm 50 pounds, well, yeah, 
Well, now I'm 60 pounds overweight. It seems like when I try to lose weight, I keep gaining it. Frustrating me. I don't know if anybody... Wait, is that right? I don't know if anybody else... But it just feels like every time I try to lose it, I keep gaining it. So maybe I should try to gain it. <laughs> I mean, look. Ugh. The reason why it's bothering me is because, you know... Wait a minute, something's wrong. Is this supposed to go like that? Because the head fits in here. That's not going to fit in there. So this is what I'm doing. I'm unscrewing this. And that goes like that? Maybe? I don't know, you guys. And then this goes like this? Yes. I think we have a winner. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. Wow. Whew. If I only had a brain. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Then that straightens it out. Okay. So we're going to... I'm going to see how this fits on the table. I mean, I can't do this in the... In the nail salon, I don't want the hair all over, and the hair will get all over. So the hand I got at Amazon too, um, I'm pretty sure it was Tay Barbie, Ta Barbie, T A H Barbie. I'm sorry for mispronouncing her name, but that fits really nice on the table. It, um, this mannequin head was $29.99. $29.99. That's a good price. The ones I the ones I got at cosmetology school, oh my gosh. If anybody's going to cosmetology school, take a piece of advice. Don't use all your dolls. You have a barber doll, a chemical doll, a braiding doll, shampoo. Well, we had five. So the barber doll, that was gone because that was a guy and we cut off all of his hair. So there was no change in that. The um, hair cutting down doll. Ugh. And then you have the hair braiding doll. And then you have the chemical doll. And then you have the extra doll that you're supposed to use for um, the test. <laughs> but what happened was for a hair cutting, is hair cutting one and hair cutting two? Hair cutting one and hair cutting two. And in both my classes, I had two different teachers. <clears throat> And the first teacher was having, I don't know, she was having some type of issues, problems, whatever. And she just literally just took my doll's hair and just cut it all off. My doll had like uh, 12 inches of hair. And she cut off a good 7 inches of it. I was so mad because I wanted to keep a doll for myself. You know, well, actually I was just mad because she cut all of her hair off. And then so by the time that I finished that one... Then my other my other doll that had a lot of hair, my teacher um she did the same thing with the second one. So lesson learned, keep one or two dolls to yourself. Don't allow your teachers to distract your dolls because when you get out of cosmetology school, you're still going to need um a doll to practice on. And when you practice on a doll with no hair, it is no fun. And I know uh, somebody said, but you're going to have clients who have no hair. And I was like, yeah, you're going to have clients who have no hair. That's true. I mean, you know, who have, like, short hair. Yeah, that's true. But you need, you know, I couldn't even braid the hair. And I'm talking about people who, like me, who are just so starting out. So anyway, so that's, I think I'm going to name her Susie. 
<laughs> this is easy. Oops. Didn't put it on too tight. Because I moved it and I didn't put it on tight. But that's easy. Wow, this is still going to be really cool. I really don't want to... I don't want to flat iron Susie's hair. And the reason why I don't is because I like it curly. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to color it then. It's going to suck. Wow, uh, and look at on that. I'm going to have to show you guys this up close. You can see her scalp how well that the hair is put together. I mean, it's put together really, really nice. This is really nice. It's like no gaps in the hair. I'm trying to, let me see, I'm trying to get down to it, but it's so hard because it's so much hair. But I mean, this is really nice, you guys. It's 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 made well. She's made well. She's made well. I didn't bring a comb on my. I don't have a comb over here. But I mean, you can see. Look, she's got gray hair like I do. This is really nice. Sorry. This is a really nice doll. You can see her hair. You can see her scalp. So I'm really pleased with her going to have fun with braided styles because you can even, so when you part it, look, when you do it like, a, if you do it like a single braids, to practice the single braids, practice different styles that you want to practice on, you know, <clears throat> one of my old students said to me, not old students, yeah, old students that I used to go to class with, she said to me, why would you even keep those dolls? I was like, to practice styles on. You can't, I mean, you know, you practice a style, and then that way when your client comes in, you can show them the style, you know. Like, you know, you can have, you know, you've seen the styles. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. So I am going to go myself. This is really, I like this doll. She is wonderful. Her scalp almost looks human. Well, you guys, I am going to go. I know that my hair looks terrible. Look at that. Ugh. My hair looks terrible. Who cares? But um, 